ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another episode of K-Fave, the wrestling show for us, by us. I am one of the hosts here. I am Will Farrow. And I'm your boy, Chinadu. Yes, indeed. Y'all already know what this is. This is the podcast. This is the show where we talk the real in wrestling, man. We're going all around the globe. We go from different brands and we just, we talk, we tell it how it is, man. We tell it in our opinion. And we, you know, I like to think we have a bias, unbiased opinion, opinion, Chenna, do you know? I, I don't think that we don't give no hatred to any particular brand or superstar. No. We just, we, no. we, we got love for everybody, but we just be having to keep it real when it comes to certain things. Yeah, there, yeah, we have to. We have to be completely unbiased. No company is perfect in wrestling. Every company has it. I have issues with all creatives and every company in wrestling. Honestly, that's why we here. We here to talk about wrestling. These here to talk about these graps. Wrestling. Yep. How about these oh, rapping and wrestlers here on Friday nights? And our first thing into we are it. talking about is um something everybody is always asked about, but um uh, ne- never has really you know been a a. a a realistic thing at the time, but you know, it's one of those things like eventually it'll happen. And it seems like that ball may be rolling. Now there's not a lot of information on it, but what we have learned is, is that WWE is in talks with working with New Japan. Yeah, um, let me go ahead and say this now. Um, uh, in, in, in NXT Japan confirmed. That's why they're doing this. This has to be the reason. This was, has to be the reason, right? Has NXT to be. Japan? It has NXT to be. Japan would be ridiculous. Re- Ridiculous. Yeah, it would. Yes, it would. <laughs> Ridiculous. <laughs> yeah. Goodness, bro. NXT yeah. Japan. WWE, they never strike me as a company that will even want to play with others like that anyway. Right. Like, it's just, I mean, I would be excited to see it, but it's just like, I feel like it has to be for, it's, it's for, it's not just because, hey, we want to collaborate. It has to be for, there's something else to it. Well, I think you, I think what you just said right there, that is what's going to open the door to it. Because one thing that made me very skeptical about it was that's too big of a jump. You know, like, like especially like later today, uh, late in this uh, episode, we're going to get into a fantasy booking for like which matches we would like to see from the top New Japan stars from the WWE roster as well. But mm-hmm. as I thought, that's kind of a very, that's a big jump. Like that's a big mm-hmm. jump for them to be moving this person here and this person there to go try to work like this and trying to make this stuff work like is like they're like it's one of their best champions of new japan like okada gonna go to what nxt and then get moved up like mm-hmm. or does he hit the aj styles route we're not sure so it's like that was a lot of things of why it made it kind of seem like this is just kind of rumors or just talks but how you just pointed it out that would probably be one of the best steps to start bridging this gap would be NXT Japan. Yeah. Cuz WWE they they they're into chess, guys. Like they they're completely fine with this possibly taking 5 years. All right. If they get done sooner they will, but this is all about establishing because that's what they want, guys. Like they're they're they'll they'll wait it out. And also too, I'm very certain this did not make Tony Khan happy. I'm sure <laughs> I'm sorry, this man. I'm pretty upset, man, because the uh, AW working with all these other companies, you know, with AAA and Impact and New Japan, that's kind of what made them kind of a very different, more like red herring compared to the Big E. Because mm-hmm. like AW, they're showing you, hey, we'll play with everybody, you know. And I mean, I think I think they even do in talks of Ring of Honor. I think I think. Yeah, but, yeah, yeah, I believe so. Yeah, but too. like they work with everybody though, and WWE doing this, this is this is a big deal, and if. And, and honestly, if you're looking at it in terms of like who, what companies are they, they're more familiar with, AEW has a great contract, great TV spot, all that. They are leagues behind WWE in terms of publicity, marketing, staying power, history, and I mean, just cap content, library, reach, access. Like they're behind because I mean, they, 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 they've been since the 60s, I believe, right? Well, mm-hmm. Even longer. Even and longer, so like, yeah. And so, like th- these guys are in, are in talks with a big company in terms of uh, helping them expand to North America and things like that, and possibly in some other digital markets too. Like we never know, you know, they have other divisions, their movies, they, you know, their films, they have other investments that they're involved in. So it could be a plethora of things that that uh, WWE is offering New Japan that Tony Khan possibly isn't aware of, or maybe even not even a position to offer from AW themselves. Yeah, and well, like you just said too, that I think there's two big things that uh, Tony Khan and AEW are missing. One is there is this 
competitiveness to prove yourself. So it's like you're in that yeah. phase. Like, and for one, WWE yeah. don't have to do that. Like, it's been established. Like, you're still established. Like, you have to establish yourself. And the route you are choosing is to compete with one of the, you know, not if one the biggest wrestling companies in the world. So it's like, yeah, that's one of the things against you. And so it's just like two. And another second thing is it's like, okay, based off of that and then based off the relationship you have, if we're really just looking at it from stature point, New Japan and WWE are neck and neck. Like the only difference between Japan and WWE is that Japan has hit that proverbial wall because, you know, again, they are a very, uh, very um, gun ho about traditionalists and uh, especially when it comes to doing what they're doing, they're doing it for Japan. And so if you watch it, it's great. You love it just because of the sportsmanship, because of how determined like all of these stars are when they play when they play over there. And so it's just like to be able to go over and finally get the rest of the world to see that. If you look at both companies, I would I would definitely believe WWE would do a better job of transitioning that into the American audience than AEW would, as you they are kind of proving with some of the talent that they have brought over from New Japan that hasn't really gotten a spark. Yeah, because and, and I'll be real too. Uh, in terms of viewership, I right now with them being on Fridays, viewership is dropped. For AW, it's dropped. I'm not saying it's going to stay that way, but right now with their current schedule, it's it's it, you know they're on Friday nights. It's weird. Uh, it's weird to keep up with that though because they they've kind of jumped multiple times since they've been on air. I'm not not to their fault or anything like that. I mean they're they're honestly on a very hot busy network, so these things are going to happen. They're on TNT. That's a it, it, it's it's going to happen, but it doesn't help because I mm. believe uh, last I checked, uh, they went from 700,000 viewers. And when they went to Friday nights, I think only 500,000 of them went with them. Yeah. So you lose almost a quarter million viewers by switching nights. And I think it's going to be this way for a couple more weeks. And then they go back. I think they're there for a month. And then they go back to their Wednesday nights, though. But at that point, too, certain people, maybe casual fans that you may be watching, a month is very easy to get out of watching a habit of a TV show. Oh, yeah. Your routine. Oh, yeah. Cause Friday nights again, Friday nights, that's, that's the go out night. And I have it in my mind to do, to watch SmackDown cause it's on Fox. I'll be honest. There's sometimes I forget to uh, look at AW because I have it trained in my mind to watch it on Wednesdays. And when I don't see it on Wednesdays, it slips my mind into like mm -hmm. Sunday. Cause you know, my schedule, I get, you know, my schedule, I get 4 a.m. I write, I work, I have shows, I travel. And so that's like my designated time. And so moving it at this time really doesn't help. And I know the whole DVR thing, that's one thing though, but I have certain times where I watch DVR. So it's like mm -hmm. even recording it, it still doesn't doesn't help. So it doesn't. Like you said, uh, WWE, yeah, WWE is definitely I feel in a better position to do things with New Japan as opposed to uh, AEW in North America. Oh yeah, and then like like you just said to that point, just the the consistent schedule changing. There is no yeah. locked in schedule and stuff like that. Like WWE, yeah. you just have to worry about them moving a network at, at one time yes. in their past. But now it's like, yo, that's locked in. I know Monday night Raw. Monday night, seven o'clock. Monday night, Raw. The only thing I have to maybe worry about. Hey, we're now doing two hours instead of three anymore. Yes. That's about it. Friday night SmackDown. It's called that for a reason. So it's just like again, something AEW could have followed suit with, but again, they're still trying to establish themselves. So it makes even more sense why AEW will want to go. Uh, well, excuse me, why New Japan will want to go over to WWE versus you know uh, the still trying to get their sea legs, Tony Khan's AEW. So it's like, hey man, if you're gonna be blood hot in Jacksonville, man, be blood hot red, man, but don't look at uh, WWE if you're getting pissed off about it. So, uh, but we right don't up, keep, man. yeah, but we, but one thing <laughs> we do gotta get kind of a little pissed off about uh these wwe releases now um it, it is no Man. secret that you know people get released and stuff all the time things happen time. you know all the time you know all, contract all disputes time. anything expirations all of that stuff nothing, nothing new but um a few of these though are got us scratching our heads a little bit um so so you know recently who who was let go um this this past june and they did say more releases are to come uh, the, the, the top ones that we are focusing on is buddy murphy lana ruby riot alistair black and the monster among men braun Strowman. yep 
these these WWE superstars are what well, are no longer WWE superstars. Was it was it, uh, it's uh it's Adam Heidi Lovelace Tommy and uh CJ Parker is her real name I believe. Mm-hmm. Yep. And um and and I think it was other uh, and, and, and NXT released by the name of Santana. I wasn't familiar with Santana, so yeah. I mean I'm and I'm not gonna comment too much. So I wasn't familiar though, but the other four were I mean. You almost saw most of them weekly on weekly. WWE television. It's, I mean, and to me, like the most, the most shocking one clearly is Braun Strowman. I mean, this guy was just fighting for the world title at your last pay per view. Right. He was just fighting for it, and to me, just think that like you guys, just to release him, like I don't, what I wasn't sure, like did you guys even negotiate like maybe a pay cut or you know some some jobs will do that. I mean, I was right. like, man, I just flat out released him, but his downside guarantee. What I found out. I think it was somewhere near a $1.2 million. So that's a it's a lot of money right now when you're not touring and your only thing is television and not mean and yeah. Woo, that's that's a lot to pay somebody right now, especially right now. And right. he's not and I mean I'm, I'm not even say he's not a draw, or whatever though, but like I felt like the he his better booking days were like before. Like when he was going head to head with with Lesnar, that was when he sh- they should have pulled the trigger on him winning mm-hmm. that world title and making it happen. I feel after that, like I don't know, like he, he I felt he was still relevant, of course, but just like he lost that, I feel like you know that rub, that stroke. Yeah. You know, he he didn't feel like a top top guy anymore. And mm-hmm. I know he won the world title, you know, a universal title at WrestleMania last year, but we all know why mm-hmm. because the circumstances that happened with the pandemic, they literally had nobody else to call. So it was really one of those situations. Right. And then from there, like they didn't. I was excited about the Bray Wyatt feud, but they didn't really do what I felt they could have done with that. They didn't really go deep into it. And mm-hmm. just from there, it was a lot of issues. And I also think this is my theories with Braun Strowman as well, too. They had, according to backstage sources, though, there was always uh, rumors of Braun always showing up late to shows in the past before. I'm always just kind of um, doing things that would make him lose favor with people in the back, especially Vince, kind of like roll his eyes, shake his head type of notions. Mm-hmm. And there was also this incident. Now, I mean, I, I know he said he cleared it up, though, saying it was a, a, a daily shot. He gives himself a vitamin shot. But there was that time last year when Braun Strowman posted a picture of his physique, and there was a syringe right there at mm-hmm. his um at his thing right there. And that caused a little bit of controversy. WWE didn't really get into that. But I'm certain they had to address that with them internally. So it could be a lot of the things that led with it, too. So I, that's that's what I always that's what I thought of at first. I was like, you know, probably there's a lot more, and the money didn't help either. But it's just I felt that it's still just shocking because all those names out of nowhere, especially Tommy. Uh, I'm saying Tommy and now Alistair Black, yeah. Because the fact that he closed SmackDown, he night he laid out Big E, closed SmackDown, and I and I don't think Big E was even on this past least episode of SmackDown, was he? I Wasn't don't believe so. No, no. It was now the uh it was Kevin because the Kevin Owens and Apollo uh match was there and they were you know but we'll get into that with the uh, recap and stuff. Yeah. yeah, so it's like what are they gonna say? Like how you release Ruby Riot from who was actually in a legit tag team from a division that's already suffering. You already don't have enough tag teams, and you release one person on top of also releasing another girl, Lana, who was in another tag team. Although I was not a fan of that tag team, I want Naomi to be a single star. She was still in a tag team that I felt were in somewhat contention of the titles, even though, like I said, I want Naomi to be in the women's title picture always. I don't want mm-hmm. her in the tag team. She is a star. You have to treat her as such. And um, But I, I, it, it's just so bizarre because they release people you would feel they would more so need. You need women tag teams. You need, like, I felt like Braun was more of your big man attraction because you guys don't have any reliable big men now. Like, Omos is not, like, I, he's not there yet to me. Mm-hmm. And the, what's his name? A, a general, what's his name? Uh, 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 Azuzu. Azuzu, yeah. G- G- uh, uh, general Suzu. Is I, what's, uh, some, that's his name. So, Gen- general Isuzu. General Isuzu. Right <laughs> Looking around, he's not ready to be in this man event scene. So you have no big men, honestly, and it's like I—I I mean, I don't know where you go from there with that. Like it's, uh, I, I, it's like it's so bizarre to just release them. I know, I, I know it's confusing to do, but look, listen, there is a caveat to all of this, though. Okay, always, Even with all, yeah. always man, because listen, remember, <laughs> we got Eva Marie now, so everything is gonna be a okay, should do. 
Because Eva Marie is back, y'all. I really thought you were going somewhere for real. I really thought you were Listen, man, you li- all of our troubles what? are okay right now because Eva Marie's back. You get rid of Braun. You get rid of Alistair, all of them. But the fact <laughs> Eva Marie is back, boy, they got something set up for us. Move over Y2J. Eva Marie is here to save us, okay? <laughs> she She's the one here to save us. Okay, you know what I'm saying? She gonna make it fade to black. She's gonna be the monstrous among women. All right, she's gonna cause riots everywhere. <laughs> Red everything. <laughs> all right, but no. In all <laughs> seriousness, you know, I don't, I don't like to, you know, talk out of turn too much. But for for WWE, this has to be kind of most the most ass backwards thing I've ever seen. Um, I, I gotta agree with you. In regard, in regard, and, I, and I'm gonna start before I get to Braun because I, I want to say Braun for last. As far as as Buddy Murphy goes, I'm not sure. As far like like you said, you do always have to kind of think about what things may play in the back and stuff like that. And so um, when you look at Bird, Buddy Murphy and some of the things you may have heard, I can see why some of the things hold him back. But also too, from another standpoint, basically is creative has always been a problem for Buddy Murphy. I don't think they ever really took him out of that tag team that he was in a long time ago in NXT and Alexa Bliss before she With switched Alexa Bliss. over. And so they never really changed anything of his characteristic. And so even when you gave it to him for the disciple as Seth, as Seth Rollins, it was dope because it's like, yo, you're putting him under the tutelage for the mental aspect. He's already there wrestling wise, skill wise. He just needs to be able to talk on the mic and be able to have a mental prowess in the ring. And it was getting there. And then all of a sudden it's like, okay, Seth don't have a disciple no more. Or it's like, now it's his fault. Oh, now he's in a relationship with this. It was just like, you you had this person going and then you take him away. And it wasn't, and it had nothing to do with the in ring performance. Cause every time that man stepped in the ring he had a match that you could remember. I'll never then, forget that match he had with Roman Reigns. I'll never forget that one. Never that forget amazing that. Amazing match. There's a amazing reason why match. it was the best kept secret. And so it was just another thing of character development not going anywhere. Uh, Lana. I felt like... <sighs> Here's my thing with Lana. <laughs> not upset about this. Not in a bad way, but it's one of those like... I will be very curious to see what she does next because she does a lot of stuff outside of wrestling that, you know, wrestling, like, and, and that's more been carrying her along than on here, yeah. if I'm just being honest. And then ever since Rusev has left, it's just like, yo, breaking that up, putting her with Bobby Lashley, just trying to pair her with other folks and stuff like that. It's like, yo, if either you're going to give her a behind the scenes position or move her into that, into that diva aspect. You know what I'm saying? She ain't got to really be here like that all the time and stuff like that. Could have gave her her own show, kind of like how Alexa Bliss has her own show. Uh, kind of just yeah. like every anybody else that has like a talk show or something like that. But, you know, I think the thing between Rusev and all, also that kind of drama and stuff like that, you got to kind of pay that piper. But I will say I'm, I, I'm very happy to see that she won't be going through an announcement table seven weeks in a row anymore. Fam. And um, we'll probably I mean, go on to better things. Movie roles, yeah. all kind of stuff. And hopefully none of those will, in, none of those roles will involve going to the tables either. Again, right. because those will end with two months every week. But it's like, you knew why. Like, if you know, you know. And yeah. it's like, really? Y'all gonna take it out on her because he left? Yeah. Word? Okay. Every week. And like, I felt bad because it's almost like sometimes Sue... It got to a point you almost legit felt bad. Like, man, it's like even fans were man. looking like again, yeah. and like, then like no, no, like, no reciprocity from it at all. Like no, like yeah. oh, she eliminated them from the Royal Rumble. That's not enough. Yeah, that wasn't enough. She been putting the girl through tables for, for two like, months. Two months. This is a Every time week. like what it was Survivor Series. Like she was the sole survivor. Yeah, and no one remembers that. Nope. I, I, I legit just remember because you said it right now. And the I only had, reason why I, I said it was it. because I remember Royal Rumble. I was like, nah, but the shining part was like that Survivor Series. So I think for her, this may be more better inclined for her because like I would love to see what CJ Perry can do as an actress and whatever it is she's you, uh, anything else she's in. So I'm curious to see that. Uh, these these next two, these next three though, is the ones that's the real head scratchers. Ruby Riot. um, 
and then from what I can tell too is not someone that doesn't really cause any ripples in in the backstage or anything like that. Normally, you know, is is kind of that team player and stuff like that. And so, I, I think in the time where she could have had something, she got injured, so they kind of lost that sting with her. Same thing with trying to revamp Liv Morgan and stuff, and then like that not really working out, but still having that wrestling prowess there. And it's like y'all just knew, they were a tag team when there were no women tag teams then women tag team come you don't want to make them a tag team then when it's time to make them a tag team and we're kind of done with it you make them a tag team and then when you make them a tag team they're getting squashed by people who are not in a tag team just throwing together tag teams right it's like you would what that's the people you like I, I never understood that from wwe the women tag teams that you did have you didn't boost up you didn't put you didn't put up you didn't put up the iconics like that like they should have you let them win, win at wrestlemania but because of some you know some stuff in the back if you know you know yeah you yeah. didn't give them that shine you didn't move it up yeah at one point they literally had the following tag teams boston hug connection the sky pirates fire and desire they had the iconics and the riot squad five at minimum who were legit teams on your at least these guys you have five teams at least, and now they're all gone. And trying to do a memory serves me correct. Man, it, it, just just let, let, let's rewind the clock back a little bit. It only took four horsewomen for y'all to completely change and do everything that the men did. Mm-hmm. Y'all were the ones that had Iron Man matches. Y'all were the ones that had Hell in a Cell matches. Falls count anywhere. Yeah. Those were five tag teams that could have, bro. Could you just imagine three of them WrestleMania yeah. TLC match for the women tag team titles? Yeah, and the thing too, and, and it also goes into it too about booking. Like we think about great tag teams, we can think about three: Dudley Boys, Edge and Christian, the Hardys. Three, and those guys tore it up because of great booking. They gave them spots. They 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 made the titles feel like a big deal. And like they just feel like props now, and it's a shame. Yeah, you have so many talented women on the roster. This y- y'all have the Sky Pirates. Had the Sky Pirates. Had you no. had the Sky? Lost her connection. Broke up. Sky Pirates gone. Icon is gone. Fire and Desire broken up. Riot Squad gone. And now it's these makeshift tag teams. So it's just like it don't make sense. Just like like you said, Alice the Black. All of all of this since he left NXT, yep. nothing like, downhill since then. The second he lost NXT title, I felt so bad. I was like, "That's it." That was it because you because you know before then too, when the champion lose the belt, that means they're about to get called up. I'm like, and they and they brought him up and they did well with him. They put him in a tag team with Ricochet, and where's Ricochet? Where wow, is Ricochet. Where is Ricochet? And then we get to, of course, Braun Strowman. Now, again, I, he, here's my thing. Even everything you explained to me still don't add up to this. Like you said, he was known for being late. He was known for doing this. I've, I've been heard to know Randy Orton grabs his nuts before he shakes your hand. Um, yeah. some, somehow, he's still working there. Oh, so, every, um, every week, every week. This do, it, do, yeah. it doesn't add up and it doesn't make sense because it's different if you have a person that cannot perform. One, if I've noticed anything, y'all have kind of downsized his wrestling prowess than, than like how he used to. I remember when this dude used to run up turnbuckles. Like It's not like this guy cannot go and not put on a show, even with some of the little cats there that are there. So it makes no sense of how y'all have how y'all have done him since moving him into a singles person, and then to him transforming into that going with the ball head, the steam train. I'm like, this is it. Yeah. But it's like I, I find it as a good thing now, and, I, and, and to me, I'm like, I'm kind of glad y'all let him go, Bro. because somebody else is gonna see it. Ain't got to do nothing to it. Like you could literally keep all of this, and we just gonna change the name. That's yeah. it. Because because Braun took like he was a he was he was a homegrown WWE superstar. He was like played like the same factory that brought us the Miz, like that kind of formula. Like this is a WWE superstar, and I told people too like he's still a big person. He can still be a spectacle. He can still get booked at prices, and also too like I'm, 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 I remember you said this before we came on air too. 
Like, I mean, he could have options too where he doesn't even have to wrestle no more. Like, if you know, if he if he does it right because he's well, he has enough, he's had enough visibility to before to, I mean, to at least get in something you want to think. Oh, yeah, yeah. Like the whole hunting thing and stuff like that. Literally, like he could follow the Duck Dynasty route. Like he he's one yeah. of them cats. So I, I have no yeah. doubt like Duck Dynasty might have him on some stuff, hunting shows and all kind of things. So it's like I mean, and he could build a whole brand off that. Exactly. So it's like, don't get me wrong, like most of these people that were let go will be fine. And if anything, some of this did aid them. Like with Lana, I think that's gonna aid Lana. Um Ruby Ride, I'm like, whoever, whoever picks up Ruby. It, it you you got you got an asset you got a gem and whatever yeah. it is it's just yeah. like I hope you will develop and to be honest I, it's just like well, how you'll you develop her character yeah. Buddy Murphy same thing Buddy Murphy's yeah. just like yo all you need to do is perform I hope uh, and, and we're gonna get into that as well later into the fantasy booking so I don't want to give too much away on that because we're gonna figure out where would be the best place for these people to go in their next chapter but we're gonna get onto that later into the show so we're gonna keep this thing a moving with the raw and smackdown recaps um so here's a recap raw was trash um and right. smackdown yeah. was cool yeah and that was our raw and smackdown recap <laughs> yeah you guys are welcome <laughs> that's the best way to describe it um, that was it. Um, if you for for those that want a little detail, I guess you know it's a, it, we, we in the red light, so we're gonna start with Raw. Yeah, if you um, must, if if you want the the whole, the, oh, if you want it, I guess um, the only good the only good part to me, honestly, was MVP talking to Kofi. That segment was the only good part. I know some people think it was RK, bro. That's okay to me. Like I'm just waiting on Randy to turn on Riddle, and we'll get that started. So I'm not even paying attention to that too much. That that's yeah, yeah. That that's what I'm getting. I'm like, yeah. what is what is, what what's what's happening? Is this a tag? Like, are you going for the tag titles? Like, yeah. What are you? What are you? Yeah. What are y'all doing? And why y'all keep beating up Xavier? Yeah. Like, what, why are y'all going back? To the same matches every week. Like I was surprised to see Jeff Hardy on there. I was like, okay, I haven't seen Jeff in a while. But they've they've had him on main event purgatory. Yeah. The past two three months for some reason, but I, it was good. It's good to see him. Um, that I mean, that has to be the worst ending of Raw I've seen in a long time, man. So let's 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 talk about the beginning of Raw. Let's talk about that. Oh, um, have to. <laughs> so the folks who have legit tag teams uh, decided to be in a over the top rope battle royal to decide. Who would face the tag team champs next? Now, as you just said, we, we saw the same match like three times in a row. Mm -hmm. Now, in those three times with them tag teams, wouldn't it have been kind of cool to have like a tag team tournament, kind of like a Dusty Rhodes Cup like we mentioned in the past episode? Man, yeah, that sounds so familiar. Don't they have that on one of their other shows or something? Man, like I think so. I can't remember <laughs> what it was. Um, so man, the, you know, them, them, them little wrestling boys that be with the little golden black. Yeah, they be yeah, yeah. Around. Them golden boys. Yeah. Um, Elias held the concert. Um, it got interrupted by uh, uh, that rider boy who don't. Oh, Wasn't he in Forgotten I mean, Sons? Yep. And we yep. forgot about them, obviously. Mm -hmm. Um, I mean, if you if I'm in that group, you know you are just. Pissed at Jackson Riker. Imagine you just waking up and all you have done is just train and work hard and do your job. And next thing you know, you come to work and they tell you, hey, you're off TV. Why? We only Who? Keep what? This one. We only keep in this one. The two yeah. of y'all is going to sit down somewhere. They're like, hold on. But didn't he say, but what did he the one that said? Yeah, but. He, look at him. We got this. We got this. Yeah. And he's cut his hair. So anything yeah. just it's like it's like two people who you know Bob to be fired now fighting each other for a job yeah. neither one of them gonna have. Yep. Cause I mean I, it's you know, and you feel bad for Elias. Yeah. Um because yeah. because 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 he, he's been saddled with that. Like Elias is a solo act. Like it's a he doesn't I, need I, a I don't understand how you have and I don't mean to cut you off on this just, just to get this out. It's just like you, you know us, we're all about the creative. That that's what that's what this is normally talking about. So I just my my, my question I ask you about Elias, 
How do you have a modern day honky tonk man and you you mess that up? Let's has he even has he has he even been Intercontinental Champion yet? Has have they even given him the title yet? Has he held any titles in WWE yet? Man, he has been the 24-7 champion, along with Bad Bunny. Um, <laughs> Pat Patterson. Pat Patterson, R.I.P. Uh, uh, um, Kelly Kelly. Kelly Kelly and uh, Candice Michelle. All right. Yeah. That's oh, and uh, uh, yeah. Maria oh, and Canales R-Truth. Was pregnant. Yeah, R-Truth. Yeah. And, and Maria Canellas when she was pregnant. Yes, when she was pregnant. Yep. Yeah. So, uh, um, yeah. Like you said, modern day hockey talk, man. The heat that him and Kevin Owens got in Seattle that night, that is legendary heat. When they brought right. the Seattle Supersonics, and I mean, they had to start yelling to keep yeah. going. That heat, listen. Right. Now, now, last matches, are they forgettable? Yeah. But in WWE, it's not necessarily always about the match. Like, Elias is a superstar, like, he has a gimmick. He can bring in the crowd. He can do funny segments, things like that. You can work with that. Like, he could have been a main event player in this pandemic if you'd have booked him right. If you'd have booked him right. If Ric Flair can be that, Elias can. Let's, 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 yeah. again, let's keep it real. Ric Flair uh, matches ain't memorable. What's memorable is the performance that he has as Ric Flair. And that's yeah. what Elias had with him. So, like, even compared, like, paired with the Kevin Owens, you can make that work. Kevin yeah. Owens' in-ring ability, along with his way to project the story as a heel through Elias, that makes for perfect matches. And then yeah. again, that's the one we don't mind seeing like, ah, that man cheated to get the title back. Ah, dang it, dang it, Elias, yeah. you did it. My man, just, if memory serves me correct, same thing Honky Tonk Man did, correct? Yeah. But it was so good, like I said, because it was so a good story. And it, it had a point of purpose, and you were invested in it. So you didn't mind if you saw repeat matches from time to time. You didn't care. You but didn't. in this instance, you, you we're just seeing repeat matches just to see repeat matches. We are, but don't, but don't you worry about it, though, Chenna dude, because Eva Marie is back. So Man, we, gonna be, we gonna be okay. Okay, we're all gonna be a okay because Eva Marie is back. All right, y'all, just know the evolution is here, so we gonna be here. okay. We are gonna be okay. Listen, John Larnais back there like this is going to work. This is going to work. Great idea. Now listen. This is a great idea. Listen, I mean, <laughs> Drew McIntyre chopping down tables with swords, but don't do none of that back uh, mm, mm, because mm. the evolution is coming. He was he was coming back to like we listen. We can't wait till fans come back, guys. This is too red hot. <laughs> well, like, I don't okay? listen. I don't want to pair. I don't want to compare it to a Jesus resurrection. Yeah, but. but I mean, if I'm you had saying. to compare it to anything, when that this evolution is right coming back, you okay. might have to have an ever, ever Easter or whatever you go call it. Let me tell you something. <laughs> this 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 debut is about to have as much impact as the gobbledygooker <laughs> debut. Fam, this is going to be an egg. Do they really think when crowds come back, they're about to cheer Eva Marie? You know Unless, what? I'm, because, because I feel like they're going to swerve and make her a heel. But from reports, they say that WWE is really serious about making her a face. I'm like, unless she's going to be a pseudo face, which is really a heel, and then Becky Lynch comes back and completely destroys her, I don't see what's going on. I, I, and you know what? It's no disrespect to her. It's just... Yeah, no, no, not at all. Because she's worked out very hard. She's trained very hard. She's put in all the time and work. We're talking about the booking. You came in, they came, they brought you in at the worst time. Mm -hmm. Especially knowing that like all of these things were about to happen because it's like, oh, Braun's gone, but you're still here. And so it's like, though, that's what sucks about it. It's like, yo, worst timing. And of course, like you said, like didn't have too much of an impact when she was here the first time. So it's like this second run probably might have been something. You know what I'm saying? She she could yeah. have been like one of those that come call out Charlotte Flair and stuff like that. Puts on a great match and stuff. And then it's like, oh, yeah, because again, like that's what we were waiting to see from her anyway. It's like, yo, did your yeah. in-ring ability improve? If it did, that will make us want to see you a lot more because that was your only thing that was really missing about you. You just, you, you, yep. that was it. So yeah, cause she had to, cause like, cause like she had to look, she was in Maxim. Yeah, she was so Maxim. Like, it was there. there. It was yeah, there. And you, 
Yeah, and you know McMahon, Larnice, they love them kind of things. He made Maxim, he made Playboy. They they love that kind of stuff. They oh, give yeah. all the things to the company. They love that. So, yeah, like I said, she had yeah, the worst time. The worst yeah, time. Yeah, worst time. Because if if you got if you got Drew McIntyre breaking the table with a sword, um, I mean, while while women are in the ring dancing um, in heels. Yeah. Uh, but shout out oh. to them walking in the ring in heels because uh, how your legs ain't yeah. snap, man. You are yes, bad. And, and that is still a long way down that ramp. All right, yeah. I know them, 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 that's still a good little walk because they because the camera angles and all that. That's still a good walk. And again, I'm just like they broke up the hurt business for this. For what? For random girls. For what? And then to to have Drew McIntyre to break a table. Hey, you know what's funny about it? It would have been so much more dope if they weren't there. He did that and Bobby just looked at him and just smiled and held yeah. the title up. Yeah. Like why why is everybody like why is everybody scared? Like I'm not scared of you, bro. Like you know yeah. like we I can do this. WrestleMania. Yeah, like, like we can do one. this. Cool. Yeah. You bought a sword. Yeah. Try yeah. it. And it yes, I'm gonna knock you out again cuz the thing is like Bobby beat you fair and square WrestleMania. Mm-hmm. So but this this shouldn't even be going on right now. This shouldn't be the happening. whole program. It shouldn't even be happening. You should have either moved on. You should have go, you should have debuted in NXT to say I got I got something in this business here or something like it. It'd have been great if he re- if Andrade was still there. They could have re- they, they could have restarted. I mean that'd have been great. But that'd have been great. I mean yeah, but he doesn't need to be in the top picture no more. Like. You, like, yeah, he needs something else. Like you, and, and the thing is, I don't think they've figured out anything to put him in to do that because, again, of of the the misbooking that they have. Because the only person you did have was Sheamus, but you don't want to put like your biggest star in the B yeah. division for the singles title because then it's yeah. like, okay, then who's next? Like you don't have a lot of heavyweights fighting yeah. for the WWE title against Bobby that match up, and that's something I'm starting to notice now on why they keep doing that because they don't have anyone else that they can compare to that. Because yeah. it's like, okay, cool, you put you put coffee. Yeah. It's going to be the same thing with Brock. So it's like, yo, we got to keep throwing in him him in here until Brock come back. Yep. And then, and right now, so, and there, there's no, there's no Fiend. There's no Keith Lee. There's no other uh, people. There's no Daniel Bryan. There's nope. nobody on that top level for him to feud with right now. So this and AJ like Styles overgrowth. is in the tag team. So it's like... Yeah, it's like oh. There's no Undertaker. There's no Goldberg. There's nope. no Cena. Like all these guys are all like, there's nobody. Reigns is on SmackDown. Cesaro's yes. on SmackDown. Like, they do, but 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 you know what though? Who we did leave out though that could do this? Eva Marie. Now listen, hear me out. This hear is us three. <laughs> Eva Marie comes out and challenges Bobby for the title, and it's a whole evolution now as she's the champ. And she will take over anybody. All red, everything. All red, All everything. Red, everything. <laughs> oh, you think I'm not as, this is gonna work, guys. This is gonna work. I'm saying my job. Tell you this is gonna work. I'm John Laurinaitis. This is gonna work, guys. I'm telling you, it's gonna be great. Oh my gosh, bro! But but that's what but that's where we're at, man. That's where we're at right now. I would rather see JoJo back, and that's no disrespect to Eva. It's just because I'm a. First of all, shout out to JoJo wherever you are. Um, Listen, you know why. Shout out to you. Hey girl. Hey Hey girl. Hey girl. (laughs) You always good in our book. Yeah. Oh, oh. Whatever you're doing, we just hope you're doing it well. Shout out to you, JoJo, and the Fiend. Listen, whenever you come back, we're, you come back whenever you listen. Whenever you, you feel whenever. like it, you take care whenever of that kid. Like okay. You take right. care of that child. You be a mother, and when you're ready, yeah. you yeah. let us know. We will we'll, we'll welcome you with open arms, JoJo. Now, now y'all know I say I, I say with the character like, hey, where's the Fiend? In reality, hey, I know where he is. I exactly, JoJo. Okay. Yeah. He has a beautiful wife, beautiful family. He makes good money. Hey, if I can take time out, I'm I'm out of here, guys. Oh yeah. Because I'm honestly, out. like, they really don't have anything for the fiend. Like, he's making up his own stuff. It's great, and then they ruin it. Hey, let me just go be with my gorgeous lady JoJo and my and my kids. 
Oh yeah. All right. And then they kind of and then, and then what's cool about it is they they left it at a point where like you know at first we were kind of like yo like what are y'all doing y'all brought them back did this and it's like no you know what it makes sense it's it's a especially how you can play it now like you said I can go he can go take time off to be with his wife be with his kid and at this time let the monster he built see what she does. Yeah. See how she takes over. See what she can do. Because, like you just said, there's nothing for him here right now. Which is another thing that I kind of like about that too. Is that, that, like, who is he gonna face? Ricochet? What are you gonna do with him? Yeah. Yeah. Like, take- man, yeah. There's nobody. Like to me, not. And I still feel he should have be Orton. I still feel that way. He should have be Orton. But at this point, like, there's nothing for him on the show. Like, so there's nobody who. Mm-mm. There's nobody there, and like, there's no interesting storyline him to get into. Whatever they've already exhausted, like, because right now the fiend he goes into your past. We've already been through Drew McIntyre's past already. We've already confronted the demons. Mm-hmm. The Heath the Heath Slater promo was amazing. That yes. was great. That was and amazing. like that was and I that was the summary of that program. That was it. That was you it. already exercised. You already you already exercised that demon. You moved on. So there's no need for a fiend rivalry right there. And it's just it's just such a shame how they booked the show so crappy, man. Like. The three hours doesn't help. I get it business wise, but like, if only they had a a raw underground, bro. If they had that, that would be amazing. Raw underground, yeah. bring that back, man. Raw Have underground, it, listen, would be fire. This is raw underground, and make the GM Eva Marie. Come boom. on now, come on boom. now. Now you're getting it. Now you're boom. getting it. Boom, we now did it. You get because you we see, it, Eva Marie is gonna save us all. All right, all of us. She is gonna save us all of this. She gonna bring back Raw to his former glory. Come on, man! Red everything, man. all red, red everything. everything. The hashtag, all red, red everything. Everything. Let them know. That's what it's. It's, the, it's simple, easy. It's so simple. But you know, but you know what though? Even even just speaking of crappy booking, as we can kind of see what's coming now. Um, another makeshift tag team. Oscar and Nikki Cross. I don't, I don't, I don't want to say like you know, because I don't want people to think like women be getting slapped in the back of the locker rooms and stuff like that. But this is this is kind of a slap to both of them. It, it's a big slap to both of them. Um, I feel it's so sad because Nikki Cross was never not fit. Okay, she was never not fit, not in shape, never not an athlete. But she has gotten herself into even a more incredible shape. Like yes. if you look at her now, she's gotten super lean, put on more muscle, yep. gotten in great shape. And this is what you guys you put it, you make her like the joke of like the rivalry between Charlotte Flair and um and and Rhea Rhea Ripley. Like just a a, a, a nonsensical back and forth. You put her in the middle of that, you have Asuka. Asuka. You remember Asuka in Japan when she wore the blood paint? Yes. You remember that Oscar? I remember that. Who Oscar. ran rough shot on NXT for for years? <clears throat> this is what y'all do to them. But it's like, yo, if y'all don't let that woman go home, give her yeah. some time off. <laughs> like, yo, like for real, like it's like, yo, if you can't find nothing to do with her, let her go take a break. Because Oscar is one of those characters too that like she can redebut at any time to get a monstrous pop. Monstrous pop wherever she go. Like, yeah, she could like, go back to NXT, like, don't forget who really ran this. Yes, because, ooh, and I mean, just let her come back during the Ember Moon match. Ooh! Yes. Come on, bro, remember, you couldn't beat me for this. Don't think I can't take it from you. And that's what I want, like, I really, like, what I always wanted was Royal Rumble, Women's Royal Rumble, that stare down between Ember Moon and Oscar, because those two, yes. that was a rival... They, it's like they just, they were both on the main roster. They just did nothing with it. But, These two hated each other. But you've gotten to something that I think they should do now and I think would work. Rather than call-ups, and I don't even want to say call it call-ups anymore. It's like, yo, send some of these folks to start really trying to see, like, yo, can y'all hang in NXT? Like, yo, Oscar going back would be amazing. Like you said, like we talked in the last uh, 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 podcast, Miz going back. Like, instead of bringing them up, bring some of them here. Yeah. Like, imagine AJ or Miz there. 
And like, the thing is, it went, it, and it wouldn't be considered a call down or anything like that. It's like, yo, it's just on another set of branding that again, too, you have more free thing. You, you have more room to do stuff. And yeah. so it's just like, even for folks that want to like have a new, a new sharper, keen sense of stuff for their wrestling skills, or even their mic skills are like, yo, you could go there or you could be, you know, an OG and be like to have some of these do cats under your wing that's teaching you, you teaching them. Yeah. And then to have them come through SmackDown with you yeah. or Raw. It's just like, I think that would be a, a doper phase of them to see rather than it's like, okay, Raquel Gonzalez then 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 been champ for like three to six months. Now you calling her up to Raw to do what? Man, and it's like when I tell you, no disrespect to her at all. I do not know any rivalries. I I couldn't tell you the rivalry or who she's cheating with right now for that title. Amber, the one you want to win, <laughs> Amber. Amber will face her. Uh, I believe the NXT's in the house. Uh, really? That's their next match. Yeah. Uh, she beat Man. the crap out of Shauncee Blackheart. Uh, last week during I believe a handicap match, um, did her very dirty. Um, did then did, did the same thing to um, uh, Amber Moon, and then Amber Moon wound up having a match with Dakota Kai, beating her, and so now she's in the title picture. So um, that that actually makes me happy though. I love Amber Moon, like for real. Like I'm a big like I'm a big Amber Moon fan. Shout out yeah. to Amber Moon. Uh, if, you, if you're ever watching, what's up, girl? You the homie, okay? She yeah, and and she from Texas. You right. already know. Come man. on, man. Things, Come man. on, man. It's one of the things, man. You know. But yeah, so, but I mean that makes me that makes me happy though. But it's like again, to like you said, like I, those those different type of like mix ups, like put them there, like like for, and like like a Hollywood A lister douchebag like Miz, who represents all sports entertainment, everything NXT does not like. Imagine him holding their belt hostage. Yep, and imagine turning That's, some of them some some of them like joining him like they did like. Uh, Kurt Henning's son and um yeah, Mr. Other, uh, 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 yeah, yeah, uh Bo Dallas yeah. and stuff like that. You yeah. find a couple of them indie cats there, like like imagine Austin Theory joining the Miz's entourage and like really yeah. showing him how to do stuff and stuff like that. Again, already got the wrestling prowess. He just needs to be able to hone in the mic skills, be able to brand himself even further. That helps him be more of a title, a uh, title contender more than what he's doing with Johnny Gargano. Not no disrespect to Johnny Gargano yeah. and what they're, they're doing, but yeah, it's just yeah. like, it's no elevation to him or or really Johnny and stuff like that. So imagine just finding someone like that, then another one you would never expect to join Miz like that and start following under his tutelage. Cause like, yo, yeah. it, it don't let, like, don't let nobody uh say say some different shit as if it wouldn't be a great thing to have uh be under the Miz's wing. Uh, excuse yeah. me, <clears throat> Daniel Bryan, six titles. Yeah, uh, you know, yeah. just saying. Because like I'm saying right now, Miz is a future Hall of Famer, guys. Like I don't know, I know you guys may not like Miz, whatever, but he's going to that Hall of Fame, guys. I don't, I don't know. Respect on his name, man. Yeah, put all of it on there, man. Can you imagine Leo Rush in a table with the Miz on NXT, man? Those two talkers, both yes. heels, both on the mic. I mean, like he like, and I felt that that could be a possibility though, but they just they just don't do it, like. Especially because I feel like they look at so many people like underdogs. It's such a shame. Well, it's, a, a, it's shame. a lot. It's a lot of two of of, of again mis, miscreative and then also to risk because I also understand it as well. Like these are like new cats. These are new blood. So there's a lot of stuff they don't mind taking risk at and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. And so I can understand from like a, you know a WWE superstar standpoint of being on the road as much as they are having to go there and you you know elevating to that type of stuff. And having to show out can be kind of intimidating. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, yo, you, you, we've seen like what Tommaso and Johnny Gargano have done to each other in a last man standing match, and then was there next Wednesday to fight again. It's like, yeah. yo, that stuff ain't no joke. But they, but again, they're new, they're in their prime. Uh, for some of them, like even like Tommaso, though, it's like, yo, like this is where I belong. Like he knew that. He's even said, it's like, yo, yeah. don't call me up. I've he been does. doing this for over like 15 years. Like, yo, I don't have that much time. Like, I'm cool where I'm at. And I am, I'm, let me so real too. I'm happy him staying there because I do like, I, I don't want him on main roster. Mm. Like, I don't want him in that mix. Cause I remember just, I mean, just the little time they were on there, they had, they took the greatest NXT rivalry of that era, completely washed it. Hey guys, here's DIY. Forget all the other stuff. What? I like, what happened? So wait, why, forget, wait, wait, wait. Uh, um, the two year you, arc storyline. You just pushed this dude off a whole Titan Tron two weeks ago. And y'all back together? 
he he kidnapped your wife. Like, yeah, what I didn't Vegas? forget that. I knew you, you didn't forget it either. You pile drive this dude on the bare ring. You move the whole little soft part, the minimal soft part, yeah. and you DDT this man on the ring. And we all we, saw it. And and now y'all about to super kick this person at the same time. All because. All because SmackDown and Rob made montage packages of you guys. They made a montage package. So, hey, you know, we made video packages, guys. So, I'm sorry. You guys, I'm guys sorry. Like, on they, out they, there. Our, our audience knows you now as DIY. I'm like, ain't they wearing NXT shirts out there right now? Yeah, man. Mm-hmm. What? Man. <laughs> but then, of course, you know, to, to, to top off the, you know, the, the cluster cluck that is Monday Night Raw. Um, we found out who's now in Alexa's playhouse, playground, um, funhouse, psychopath, uh, Arkham, whatever. It is uh, Shayna Baszler. Shayna Baszler is a legit MMA fighter, y'all. She is a le- uh, she is a legit killer. She can legit go in that ring. They had it. They 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 got her afraid of Lily. The plank. This is the plank from Ed, Ed and Eddie. You better stop. You better this stop because I can't unsee that. This is the plank from Ed, Ed and Eddie. Oh god, they nah, have, nah. we got we got to find Lily man, and plank and put them together. Put them together, man. They this is the plank from Ed and Eddie. The plank from Ed, Ed and Eddie main event at Monday Night Raw. Humberto Carrillo and Angel Garza are in the back. Cedric Alexander is in the back, pissed, okay? Ricochet is pissed because Plank took the main event spot of Raw. I'm going to be honest with you. I'm more scared of Plank than Lily. I'm just going to be honest. Plank look, Plank terrified the shit out of me. Yeah, Plank been through a lot too, man. Plank I'm telling you, bro, me. like you see it, you see it in the eyes. Like, like, like when you used to crazy. watch Eddie and Eddie, Plank be looking at you like, hey, bro, I don't, be, I don't, even, like, I don't even look at the screen when Plank be up, like. Yo, know, he be trying to like really look at you, and I'm like, no, I don't. Yeah, hey. like, like put him face down, man. If you yeah, don't come over here, I don't like that. I don't like him just. Wait. Well, how he end up on the sidewalk by himself, <laughs> and nobody's around. Nobody. I'm like, that is a demon in that damn yeah. piece of wood. I'm more afraid of that than Lily, bro. Lily, Lily made me do it. I was Lily like, made me do it. Lily made me do it. I was like, oh, that's what y'all running with. So now mm-hmm. something still controls her. Is what you're saying? She yeah. got in control. Got you. And it's like this season, even like we don't even bring up Bray at all. Like I thought this was Bray's. Yeah, Did I was like, um, I, I guess I guess so until he comes to take it back. Maybe I don't, I don't, I don't know. But I don't see where I don't know how or where this is going. If she's gonna like turn Shayna into like someone to do her bidding or whatnot. Now that would be a good angle, as you said, like with her yeah. being someone that is deadly in the ring. It's like to have that as someone that's doing your work for you. Cool if you bump it up though, like make her as like, may, I want her as ruthless as she was when she came bit Becky. Yeah, I want that. I want the Shayna Baszler that eliminated every girl in the elimination chamber. Yeah, I want that one. Elim- yeah, because right now, like, I don't see where Alexa listening is going unless Nikki Cross is, comes in and pulls her out of this because I thought that's where it all started. Like, so, I like, I, is that I, where it... Yeah, I thought she might have been pulled in. Like, I thought that was going to be the thing, like, she was going to start getting pulled into that along with her. And then it was like, that'd be dope to bring them back as a tag team, but they got that demonic side about them and stuff like that. And they yeah. doing Lily's bidding. That would have been great. But yeah, that's not Nikki, what I'm seeing. Because Nikki Cross's original character in NXT was a bit twisted, a bit mm-hmm. like that. She was and with uh, Sanity. Like, sanity, yeah. Man, Sanity, man. Jeez. Man. Eric Glenn's already back in t- He's already back in tent. <laughs> uh, uh, Alexander Wolf just got released too, I think, last yeah. month. Yeah. Imperium, um, uh, Office of Pain, Heavy Machinery. Um, uh, what are they called? Um, not uh, so many tag teams in NXT go. Uh, 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 yeah, what it was not, TM, uh, FT, uh, TM uh, 16, I think. Yeah, the the revival, the revival. Um, bro, so many, yeah, and still yeah. ain't and ain't like most of them ain't here no more. 
Yeah. War Raiders is there, though, but it's not the same. The Viking Raiders is not the same mm-hmm. team. And they will be going up for the uh, the Raw Tag Team Championships against AJ and, o- and Osmos, which um, – we know how that's gonna turn out, but that, but that, that's raw, man. That, 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 that's that's mm-hmm. raw. Now SmackDown, however, though. Now SmackDown. Now SmackDown. Now SmackDown. We talk some quality Listen. television. Quality. We got some quality television going on. Over Roman there Reigns, SmackDown. Bianca Belair. This, yes. this is where the stars live. This is where the where stars they... live. Seth Rollins with the immaculate drip every week. Listen, every week. Listen, and all and to all the AEW diehard fans, I'm telling you guys, okay? Seth Rollins, Kenny Omega, by a lot, okay? Sir, sir. Now listen. Better than got, Kenny Omega, sir. Now, by sir, a look, lot. We've already talked about this. Who are like the top three best in the world? We already said number three is Kenny Omega. All right. We already know this. And number two, of course, is Seth. We already know this. <laughs> because I'm, again, it's just like, I don't. But, but hold on. You know who number one is. You know, listen, say it with me, man. All it, red, everything. Everything. Best in the world. <laughs> Evil Marie. Best in the world. Love in time. Yeah, but no, like you said, bro. Like, if if you if, if, even just to not throw any slander to Kenny Omega, because we don't we don't want y'all to think that's what this is. It's just if you if you look at career wise and everything, it's just yo. From if if you started them right here, where they are now, and what Seth has done to what Kenny has done, it just does not compare. Yeah. It just doesn't. Like even like- even. Beating Brock Lesnar, that beast was in both Japan and WWE and yeah. left the impact there. Only one of you have beaten him on multiple yep. occasions. Mm-hmm. The heist of the century. Seth took Brock's title twice at WrestleMania. Twice. From the beast and the rock's cousin, who is now yep. the, go- the golden child Listen. and holding up SmackDown right now. Yes. Listen. The, the the best thing on SmackDown by a lot, and I love me some Bianca Belair. Yes. All right, but Bianca Belair is not getting the the booking and the writing and the the careful writing that Reigns is getting. Nobody is. No, 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 not coming. at all, not at all. But I, no, I, I, nobody's I, I, getting this meticulous type of writing. But can we be honest though? Not mad at it. Not mad at it. And oh, if anything, no. what no. note should be taken? This is how Omega should have treated. Cody. Cody should yep. have been uh Roman and Kenny should have been Seth. Because as you see, Seth, Seth ain't even yep. trying to be in the main picture and still be brought up every Friday. Yep. Because he know who he is. Like, yo, I could step in that picture anytime I wanted to. I'm just yep. now I'm hey, I'm I'm developing this character, seeing what I really want to do. Same could have thing could have been with Kenny Omega, even still with the the the, the belt collector gimmick. Yep. But it was like, this is the person you should have built your stuff on. Yep. And Roman is doing it just like, just for him every Friday, it just get better. I'm just like. Every week. I'm like, oh my God. Bro. Like, I keep thinking you're going to be bad, but you're not. Like, you keep getting yeah. better at it. Yeah. And when, like, I mean, like, when and when they finally changed his music, oh, I that was, was like, complete. Complete. That's it. That's it. That's it. Yeah. As I said before in this last one, like, you, you now have Thanos on SmackDown. Yeah. And the and Usos we, are Gamora and Nebula. We got yeah. Nebula already. She whipped yeah. into shape. Yeah. You no know, Gamora over there still yeah. like, hey man, I can't acknowledge you just shit. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Jimmy, and it's like, and it's, it's why because like I'm looking at like the next three top guys of their brand too, right there. Like, because mm-hmm. for the longest time, everyone always felt it was going to be Jimmy as a solo star. But Jay has built himself up to where now you can look at him like a legit solo star too. Yeah. And like right there, like you could if you if you split these guys up across brands, they could all go out there and become the man. They all can. Mm-hmm. They all build up their mic skills and just the the overall storyline is so good to where if they kept this belt on range through Mania next year, I wouldn't be mad at it. I wouldn't be mad. Like, at it I don't. I don't see no one like you said. There, there's only as we spoke on the last episode. The only one I would really want to see next is a Big E to take the belt off of him. Yeah. Anything else? No. Anything else happens? No. 
And, 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 and to be honest, I would like to see the Usos in, 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 in separate, but at the same time, I wouldn't. To be honest with you, I, I would love to see them remain and end as a tag team. I think too, like just that that whole, that that heritage that they have and stuff like that, just like how the Wild Samoans, it's like, yo, if that's how you're going to yeah. be, be one of the great, go out as one of the greatest tag teams in like that. Yeah. But you now have the potential to be like that. You can, that, that bloodline reign that you have, it's like, yo, y'all can be the tag team titles. He can be the universal. And then that's it. That's all you need to show that dominance. Because again, too, it's like, who's going to touch you as tag team titles? Do you think, do you, do you think they should eventually add Nia to that mix? Yes. Yes. If I'm going to be honest, yes. I think Nia should, should be added to that mix. And honestly, that's it. That's it. I don't, I don't want to see a faction where all the belts are there. If we're just being honest. Yeah. I don't see, I don't know, I don't know too many people in that bloodline as far as like uh, uh, in the Anoa part that's a little bit uh, lower in the singles competition like that, but I don't think all belts are needed in that faction, but I would love to no. see Nia join that somehow screw over Bianca Belair become Smackdown Women's Champion and all of them are there. In a, l- later down the line though, later down the line. Yeah, 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 yeah later. As yeah. I, I said to top man, top woman, top tag team. That's what they need. And yeah. That, that makes it complete right there. And, and with Paul Heyman at the helm, yeah, that's it. That's all you need. And it's like they, it's, it's, like, it's so sad. They have all this talent right here, man. Yeah, all but they're utilizing it though. They utilizing well, they it though. I like seeing they that. Are. You know, the new tag team champions win against the Uso. I'm like, I like that. That was their first match. Yeah, I like yeah. that. That was their first match because it was like, yo, let's show, like, yo, you already got, you got three veterans in there that's gonna show like this new cat who's already a legacy kid and who's already really proving himself to go like, yo, I'm not relying on my dad's name. I love my culture. I it, it's an honor to be under him to learn this stuff. But I'm also finna take these chops. I'm finna take all of this stuff I gotta take because I want to be here. And I keep getting impressed with uh, Dominic every week as well because I'm just like, yo, I can tell you really want to do this stuff. Yeah, and, and honestly, too, and and you can tell that they have plans for Dominic Mysterio. Yeah. They have plans for him. Like they, like in my head, if I'm Vince, and I, I'm not saying this at all because I know he's a very you know in shape athlete guy, you know. But you know, in, in their head, if he puts on 20, 15, 20 pounds more, more pounds of muscle on him, mm-hmm. and go out there, they're like, oh yeah, he's a main event. You know, you, you know how he, you know they you know want the bigger guys though. But he has the name, the legacy, and he's good in that ring. He is like like he's he's good like he. And it's so weird. Like, you see a move, it's like you can see something similar. I mean, there's only one Ray Mysterio, but like, I know that they like that they that they uh, already trademarked Prince Mysterio. Mm-hmm. And so I felt like if there was anybody to, to give the mask to, if Ray ever decided to hang it up, clearly his son. Oh, yeah. Yeah. yeah clearly. Easily. Easily. But even too, like, it, it's funny, even though they had this as a storyline, though, because I also see this in them too. It's like, if he turned heel, I you know I, I know I'm saying this a little early. I'm just I, again, but I, I this is the podcast told us about, so I'm gonna call it out there. Oh. I see them strings of Latino heat now too. I can see a smooth Ooh. slick Dominic hitting them shoulders like yo. I can see him. I can see him growing that bro. Like there is Imagine. a he, he's a mixture of that. Imagine if he did that, man. Turn heel, Latino heat. Oh, that's what I said. WWE, right? Send us a check, okay? And y'all already established this years ago, too. Like, when y'all said that Eddie might be his dad, so it's like, I'm just saying, and it's there, yeah. And like, even if they decide to like break, let's say break fourth wall, like, I can't believe you parade us out here for entertainment, the yeah. embarrassment, and they're like this, my friend, all that they could. So dope, so dope. Yeah, I'm sorry. Man, you, you know. so dope. SmackDown is a great show. Sorry to finish, guys. It it, it, it oh, is yeah. the best. Um, there is there 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 is somebody that um I, that I I do that you uh you mentioned 
earlier too that I, I do think we should definitely highlight. I believe it was the uh, underdog of the day. If I'm yeah, 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 the underdog of the day. We are definitely yeah. about to get to that as soon as we yeah. you just wrap up the SmackDown with a few more yeah. things that I just did want to point out. Uh, definitely glad to see Carmella back and Liv uh, have a singles match uh, together, which I think they oh, did a yes. phenomenal job. And I think they that did. is something they SmackDown. Um, oh, excuse me. I believe that's something SmackDown should start focusing on just a little bit more. Um, at least not, if not one, at least two, to start bringing back these singles matches with women. No, no, having to be a storyline. Like, I just want to see these women perform. I want to mm -hmm. see them out there. Like, the next one, I would love to see Liv or Carmella go up against Naomi. Yeah. I would love to just love keep that. seeing the, like, get back to that. Get back I, to that yeah. and let that happen. Like, at least in SmackDown. Let that happen and, you know, whatever you're doing with the tag teams, cool. Um, Bianca Belair, um, I want this to be the, the last time thing. she go up against Bailey. Like this, this me is too, man. This is it. I'm, I'm done. I, I like uh, Bailey's annoyingness. Don't get me wrong. I like the character. Yeah, I like it. Stop testing it on the champ. Yeah, let that go to something else. Like I like like physically, I, I, and I'm, I'm just again, we just calling it out. Out of the four horse women. This needs to move on. I either yeah. need to see Sasha Banks come back, or I need to see the return of Becky. Yeah. Or but before like, the return or... of Becky, though, I need to see Bianca at least against in two more rivalries that she dominates in. Yeah, I would have. I would have. I, I, I would have even preferred Charlotte's move to the blue brand if he was Bianca, like something like because like I just I don't want this. You know what I mean? Because like yeah. I feel like this this, this isn't. This isn't like complimenting Bianca Belair's strengths at no. all. It's Not more at all. so like they're trying to like it's like it's like they're trying to build Bailey Seal character at the expense of Bianca Belair's championship reign. Because so far, like I don't like I want her to have amazing blockbuster, memorable matches. Like she should be headlining SmackDown too. She should be main yes. eventing it. These should be things going on. Like like there should be a looming threat. It seems like there are no other women like circling around Bianca Belair for that title. Carmella was just in the hunt for that title. Like, right. I'm glad, she, I'm glad, she, I'm glad she lost the sexy gimmick. I, it, 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 I'm glad she dropped that. I mean, you know what I mean, but yeah. Where's like in terms of female wrestlers on SmackDown, who can you name? that's like, yo, they're poised to challenge for the women's championship on SmackDown right now. S sir, let let's. I, I mean, let's start with it. We we got we got five great ones. We got Eva Marie. We got Eva Marie. Yeah, man. If we just, if I'm just being honest. And then we still got three more spots to fill. Listen, I listen. I know, I know it's crazy, but if we can give that to Eva Marie, <laughs> we gonna be all right. Okay. SmackDown and Raw Women's Champion. Make them both red because it's all red. Red everything. Let them know, man. All red everything. All red everything. <laughs> <laughs> but no, to to seriously answer your question, though, no, I there there's not a lot of women on gonna SmackDown. be on fire with Eva Marie, by the way, man. Conversation's gonna be on fire today. <laughs> I just hope she don't deal, but it's like, mm, that's what y'all think of me. Wait a minute, now hold on, <laughs> hold on. We man, it could happen too, man. You don't know be watching something. <laughs> yeah, somebody gonna send this to him, like. Yeah. That's how you feel. <laughs> you feel right now. But no, like you said, bro, like there's no there's no women on SmackDown right now. Like the only other one would have been like who I would have loved to see um between uh Bianca Belair, which I think they would have both put on a great match, but currently she's off the roster because she's about to have a kid. Lacey Evans. Lacey Evans would have yeah. been great on the blue brand. But yeah. no one's there. Like you moved Mandy, who I would have also loved to have seen uh hold that title. Moved her to Raw. Like, I don't yeah. really know who's on SmackDown besides Natalia and Tamina, and then you made them tag team champs. Mm -hmm. So, hey, who, else, who else is on the blue brand right now for the women? Like, I'm nobody. Trying to think. Nobody. That's the thing, bro. Like, Sasha's gone. Sasha's doing uh, Mandalorian, yeah. so she's not yeah. there. Um, yeah. That's really it. Every Most of the other women are on NXT. And Raw, yeah. man, that's a sh the, the the women's roster really is low. So Bianca Belair literally has no one to face on SmackDown. 
Besides Bailey. Besides Bailey. And Tamina and Liv Morgan. That's it. Ruby Riot's gone now. Yeah, none of them none of them are built up. Jesus, man. It's you just you, I mean, you know, I, I don't know. Maybe I think because like I'm so I get so caught up in the range storyline and I love it so much. And I, I automatically love Bianca Belair that I'm just happy to see her out there in the ring because she a great athlete, grandma Mike, is very entertaining. Like, man, who does she have? Because like, you know, a, you can, you're only as good as your rivalry, your villain. Mm -hmm. Like what made Dark Knight so great was was the Joker. Yep. Like, man. And all she got is Bailey. And I'm sorry, Bailey ain't the Joker. No. no. Bailey is not the Joker. No. I'm sorry to say. Um and no, I don't do it again. No disrespect to Bailey, but it's it's a character you haven't fully developed yet, so you're still in the works of it. And it's just like I don't think it's yeah. a character yet. The the gimmick that you're going with that should be put in there for the raw for the SmackDown Women's Title, especially for her first thing. Yeah, because like because I felt too like we're forgetting we're trying to build up Bianca Belair. That's who we're trying yeah. to build up. So we need. There's nobody, man. Nobody. And then too, it's like mind games are great, but you don't even have Bailey using like her her athleticism. To be honest with you, too, yeah. I would have like like I was glad Bailey got rid of the whole ponytail and stuff like that, man. But I would have loved to see Bailey kind of go in that route of Kurt Angle, like been become a wrestling machine. Like, yo, I'm the yeah. suplex. I'm the suplex. Uh, excuse me. I'm the suplex queen. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? I'm yeah. the suplex queen. Like, yo, no, can't nobody match me belly to belly or Bailey to yeah. Bailey. Like, come yeah. at me if you want. Like, I would have loved that. Even to the point of like, yo, like your favorite person is Macho Man. Come out of that. Yeah. Come out Drop with the, the elbow. With the, yo, with Bailey on the back, just and be just egotistical, man. Egotistical Ooh. as hell. And then, but it's like, yo, like your wrestling style is gritty. Like it's like, yo, like you don't, you can't, you can't touch Bay. Like when she got you in the turnbuckle, it's one of those. It's with this yeah. elbow, like, but for Bi <laughs> like, but for Bianca, that's a that's to build her too, right there. It's like you building up both folks, and we just and not getting that right now. No, we're not. And like, if I see the Bailey laugh on the screen again, I don't want to see that again. I don't want to see that no more. I'm like no hey, more, man. I don't want to see it. I don't want to see it. But but we're gonna see. But like that, and that's 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 just the very scary thing of what's going on right now. And so if if to be honest with you, here's here's how I'm playing it. And we're gonna be, be as we get into uh, uh our uh underdog of the day, because I know we about to start kind of diving into some fantasy booking and something we can talk about on the uh next next topic of the podcast as well. Is it time? to combine titles with what we just said when it came to SmackDown. Mm. Is it time to have one Raw, one women's championship? Is it time to have one heavyweight champion? And is it time to have one tag set of tag teams? Because there's not a lot of people on this roster. Yeah, especially in tag teams, man. You're right. Especially the tag teams. But just one now you got you got you got something there, mm -hmm. and then same thing same rules apply for the women thing. You can take it anywhere. Yeah. But then we kind of just back to like regular raw SmackDown <laughs> in a sense. So the, is that the case? Is it time to is it time to get rid of the split brands? I mean that's definitely. Oh man, I ain't gonna lie to you, man. Um, I feel like yeah, like because storylines are so dry and things like that, and because like I know why they do it for the money and things like that, but creatively, unless I can bring in two really good writing teams to make this happen, or like I don't know, like it's that's the easy thing to do though, because y'all don't have enough talent to make this interesting. They don't. Like, they don't. I I think I think to be honest, you should have you can you can keep two world heavyweight champions. I think you can keep Universal and you can keep the WWE Championship. Yeah. as well as Intercontinental and U.S., I do believe you should only have one tag set of tag team titles. Um, I do believe you should get rid of the women's tag team titles and give it a women's singles title uh, yeah. to go after. Um, 
And yeah. that would be it. I think those are the two that could change. And again, you can, for tag teams, that can be defended either in either brand. You can either do it on SmackDown or you yeah. can do it on Raw. It's up to you. And then you yeah. just keep going. I- no, I honestly agree, man. Because it's like, 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 like let's say, like a, a women's TV title, something, something like that, like, because, because, like, because, because again, the tag. Unless you're gonna really invest in the tag, and it's so sad because when the when uh when Banks and uh Bailey were talking about the tag titles when they first won them, I was really excited for it though because when they came on NXT, I was like, yo, they really gonna be on NXT again doing yeah, it. Yeah, I was like, yo, I just started thinking all the possibilities. Yeah, nothing. and then nothing. nothing, nothing at all. Nothing. Nothing, but yeah, man. Uh, but again, SmackDown definitely delivering a, a a far better product currently than Raw right now. Um, but far better. Um, we will we will say you know if anything with what you're seeing, even though we are you know we you know we we give an honest opinion. There is a form of slack that we are giving due to you know like the pandemic. There are a lot of folks that cannot yeah. be on the roster to perform and stuff like that as well. But just still that creative though. Yeah. We still, I mean, I wish you guys still put on a show, so we still have to be a, a crit, we still have to be critical of it. It's still a TV show we're watching. Exactly, I'm giving you two hours of my life, Monday, Fridays. So, come on, yeah. but as we said, man, I wanted to get to the underdog of the day. Now, uh, <laughs> last time we gave the underdog to Walter, we didn't give a chance to give one on the last episode, but um, the underdog of the day I want to talk to it's not in WWE, we're going to another faction, and um. This is this underdog of the day. I feel like ugh, we're in the same boat with Ricochet, man. Um, today's underdog of the day is Scorpio Sky, currently, you know, signed with AEW. Um, they're not familiar with this guy. Again, if we had to compare it, get if if Apollo Cruz and Ricochet did the fusion dance and made one person. It would be Scorpio Sky. I can see that, man. Yeah. He has the height. Got the height just <laughs> enough. Because I just be thinking Apollo just needs. I just need I yeah. right there. I, I'd yeah. be okay. He has enough, enough of that, but he has enough, he has enough muscle to make me think like, yo, this dude could give you hands. Unlike you like Ricochet, yeah. like I believe of you as the fl- the high flyer, but it's like outside of just that, it's like like bro, I don't I don't see you knocking out Randy Orton, him hitting the mat, and I believe that like you'll yeah. fist and do that. You'll yeah. fist and do that. But with Scorpio Scott, you see it, but instead of him being the superstar that he could be and and honestly potentially holding the championship uh singles run tag team on tag team and then another tag team mm-hmm. yeah Tina, do your thoughts yeah. man your thoughts on another dog of the day uh first things first uh i i'm i i, I really like scorpio star tremendous talent um i'm fr- uh, um a uh, great dude, man. Awesome, like uh, his girlfriend. Awesome person too. Alice Gracia, the Pink Dream. Much mm-hmm. love to her as well too, man. Both yes. of them dope. I, it's like you see Scorpio Sky when I when I saw SCU, right? I'll be I, I I saw vets, but I saw a breakout in Scorpio Sky. This whole time at SCU, I thought that was gonna be built so we're breaking up. We're gonna propel Scorpio Sky to the world championship. Yeah. That's what I thought. And it seemed like Scorpio Sky just left the group. Yeah. He just, just left. And now he's in another 10. I was like, okay, man, let's him go for a singles. And like, he had one run, one shot at the TNT Championship, had a great match. There was some talk about him being a top guy. Then you didn't see him for a few months because they say he's on Dark. I don't watch Dark, guys. I don't watch Dark. You guys have a two-hour television show every week. And you want to put the top guys on. Scorpio Sky's one of those top guys. He should be on there. Right, he's on there, and now you have him in another random tag team with Ethan Page. I didn't know who Ethan Page was. I didn't put the name to the face. This is the guy that had that video game fight at Impact. Yes, this is that guy. That's that guy. <laughs> and Scorpio Sky's in a tag team with him, and for some yeah. reason, in a tag team, not going after the tag titles. Who 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 did they face? <laughs> Sting and Darby Allen. Not a tag team. Um Not... don't even know what they technically are to each other, but um I don't face know paint alone. Not yeah, really sure what's going on. 
Are they a tag team? Is this, is this his dad? Is this his coach? I don't even know what they do together. Sting is 60, okay? Sting is 60-something years old. I'm glad he can still go in the ring. I'm happy he's in good health. I'm happy he's in better health and all that. I want Scorpio Sky to be feuding with Kenny Omega right now. If, if we if we if we being honest, yeah, is he like, is he not 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 to do the comparison thing? Black Kenny Omega. Literally. I was like, yo, and I and I and I told somebody, I said, don't tell me nothing different because literally, same build, more more yeah. at the top, skinny your legs. Put them titles around him, and you tell me it's not the same thing. Tell me it's not the same thing. Same person, and it's like everyone says how much talent Scorpio has. It's like, boy, why isn't he booked that way though? Like you put him in things. Like, did they even win that match at Double Nothing against Sting? No, and they did not. They did not. Of course, no. Not. Didn't did, did Scorpio Sky take the pin? Yes, Scorpio Sky did take the pin. Now here, here's my thing. Not trying to throw this out there like that, but you can take it how you want to. Um, I think when it comes to creatives outside of just knowing not be, and again, this, this goes back to just in all creatives of you being a person to understand different cultures. There are so many nuances and details that are given into developing a character that they just have become lazy with doing. You see it in just what they regular people and how they'll do for stuff they bet on. It's very hard to put a person one for one with, with a ricochet or a Scorpio Sky because one, it goes down to where you have to you have to break it down from the, the first little detail of their character. One, and one thing I've noticed of how they don't do them is even on their mic skills and how they articulate. You either yeah. want them to be in this hip hop type of type of thing, or you want them to speak yeah. as in the way they do not speak, and then they don't get a chance to be there long enough to where you'll give them ability to write their own stuff, like you'll let the Usos or Coffee do, and so they seem like this makeshift character that they don't know how to really attach to or give to anybody. So you got Ricochet with the whole, oh, he's the he's wrestling superhero. No, he's not. Stop billing him as that. You don't even bill him in the promos for that. Yeah. Same thing with Scorpio Sky. It's like, okay, what are you gonna have this man talk about? What are you gonna have this man say? Is he supposed to? Is he supposed to ignore what's going on in the world? Are we not supposed yeah. to bring anything up? Is he supposed to be chugging beer like everybody else? Because it makes sense based off of what this is. Because you know yeah. it. You can make a hangman page and not be offensive because why? That seems like the dynamic they would be in. But for one, you don't have no other creatives outside of stuff that's already been built for you, like luchadors. You can pull from that because it's that's been built. There is nothing built for us to be able for you to go, hey, let me take the time to go really learn this culture to go like, hey, what would you like to be able to do for this character that makes sense? It ain't got to be all the way, you know, straight black, strictly black. But it's like, yo, you don't take enough time to really dive into everybody else's stuff to figure out what works, yep. what doesn't work, because you don't want to rattle the cages. And then folks like Scorpio Sky, who is amazing on the mic, who is a, who, can, who has an amazing brand already, and is great in the ring, sits there and has to take the pin from a 60-year-old legend. If I'm just being honest, give me Sting's top three matches. My, mine's, mine's is Seth and Money in the Bank. Which was his last in WWE. <laughs> that was my favorite. I gotta tell people too, like, because I, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't grow up watching WCW, so I knew Sting was. I only rivalry I knew he had that was any type of you know lore was with Ric Flair, and I was never a Ric Flair fan either. Like mm -hmm. I did, like for me, I, 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 I didn't, I didn't grow up being a fan of Hulkamania. I wasn't a fan of Ric Flair. I didn't watch Sting as a kid. So like, oh, you know, you see these traditional, oh man, Hulk man. I ain't watch none of that, guys. Like, and, I wasn't, I wasn't. Yeah. I get the, I get the, the nostalgic pop of it. Like, don't get me wrong. Yeah. Like, the, the, the iconic of it of him be. But even when he was prime time, it was like, no, I remember you just he being creepy in the rafters, and him going, it sting, it yeah. sting. Oh, before yeah. he turned black and white, when it was just the, the colors, like, yeah, he was a surfer dude. Sir, Stinger Splash, yeah. really? Like, yeah. Like, and, and I get it. Back then, yes. Nostalgia-wise, yes. 
60 year old going over an underdog who should definitely be in the title picture of anything yeah no because it's like y'all have given so much to bill darby allen already you put him in main event as the main event for the tnt title on dynamite and all that what about the other guy in the ring like i think scorpio sky could have used that win because like for me, and this is this is not a slight against them. Like I don't, I'm not saying anybody's intentionally racist or anything like that. But for me, watching it, the way they presented this at the beginning, we're all inclusive. We're doing this. We're doing this differently. AW might as well stand for almost everyone's white. Oh yeah, I mean, but you, like, but, I, but like you said though, not to cut you off, I don't think it's racist. I think it's racial ignorance. Yeah. So I don't think it's malicious racism. I just yeah. think it's 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 the, that ignorance of like, yo, you can't treat every everybody don't like vanilla ice cream. Yeah. And yeah, if you're smart, you can figure out what I mean by that. Don't everybody yeah. like vanilla ice cream? Yeah. And you're not and gonna like, you're not gonna convince me to like vanilla ice cream if I don't like it. I like to I, and, and people I tell people like got describe the dark order. All what? You just asked the SAT. You just, you yeah. just you just asked the SAT question. I ain't gonna yeah. lie. Describe the best friend. Describe death triangle. Describe the butcher, the blade, and the bunny. And what and what's great about it, they're there for you to yeah. develop a description of them. Yeah. But you're not. Yeah. Pinnacle, inner circle. Like I know Sammy Guevara is Latino, but it's not it's not presented that way it's not yeah. like um just being real kind of looks like the help white man in charge while the hispanics do all the work yeah and it's like and i feel all this is done like this hasn't gotten over any of the inner circle members to me this has gotten over sammy Guevara, santana ortiz or hager it's only gotten jericho over and then, like that's it that's it Nothing. No, like, why isn't Hager fighting for the TNT title? Why isn't why like why do I have to watch Jericho fight uh, uh, MJF time until why is he fighting Jericho? Yeah. Like, why isn't it? Why isn't why isn't it Sammy Guevara versus MJF? Why isn't that the building rivalry we're building up though? Why isn't what like you know what I'm saying like what? Why isn't Cody running the inner circle? You let MJF beat him with a belt and did nothing come from that. Yep. Already bad blood there. Why? Why is that not the rivalry? Why is? Why do you have the greatest B-list superstar in Chris Jericho continue to run yourself? And again, no disrespect to him, but it's like yo, I gotta call it where it's at. Yep. You are the greatest B B person of all time. That goat shit, sure. In that, in that, in that perspective, yeah. But now, if you want to try to go Mount Rushmore, and you say you up there, mm, we go. No. We can have a debate all day. No, not at all. But you it's just, it, it's, 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 it's. I'm not gonna call it ridiculous. I'm just gonna say. But and again, too, because it's not just them. Yeah, if no, we've it's not. It's not. Yeah, it's not just no, AEW. No, 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 no. Yeah. Not at all. Across across the board, y'all. There is a racial ignorance that does go on and i don't mean it from the sense of they don't acknowledge what's happening within the world and stuff like that but it's like you're sticking to what you know and you're trying to make that work with anyone that comes through yeah and it's like and and and, and, and it's not hard i feel it's not hard to write compelling stories that can connect with people and it's like into long-term long-term storytelling mm -hmm. and like for me like i said like even with fantasy booking like look like we what you about to get into like yeah, we, like like with fantasy booking. Like for example, right now we just said one one of our documents was fantasy booking. How we handle the W releases, right? Yes. As soon as I saw that happen, this is what I thought: the best place for Braun Strowman, Ruby Riot, Buddy Murphy, Lana, and Alistair Black to go to is a thought I have. And I know this this, this has to require a little bit of erasing of a past year storyline. Mm -hmm. Let them go to WWE. <laughs> because this, this, these fired people who are now bitter and disgruntled, this could have been your retribution. If yes. you really want to do that, it could have been this. Yes. Like, 
I'm not saying it, I mean, it would have been like the greatest thing ever, though, but imagine like Ruby Riot coming back and attacking Liv Morgan backstage. She's like, Ruby, what are you doing? My name is Heidi Lovelace. My name is Tommy N. My name is Adam Sheffer. Hey. Yeah, like, sir. I'm not that, that's, you know what I'm saying? But you've actually opened something. Like, you, you've opened a can of worms to something dope. Now imagine, too, that's a faction where the rest of people join like that. Like, yo, if you sick of these dumb gimmicks, taking everything yeah. you done sat, you done built when you were around the world and they don't want to acknowledge and they want to put you in this box that don't make any sense. Dominic Dajakovic, I'm talking to you. Come That's join it. us. Stop letting them throw your career away. Come get with us and let's turn this stuff upside down yeah. and become the new Nexus. But they going by their real stuff. Like yes. just imagine like the, the dudes from Redemption, Dominic just do this during a match like, Like, you know who I am. Like, yeah. I don't, like, why am I doing this? You know who I am. Same and thing with Mia Yim. She come out like, y'all know who we are. Like, why are y'all making us do this? Yeah, Mia Yim could legit be contending for the SmackDown Women's title right now against Bianca. Dominic Dijakovic could literally be challenging Bobby Lashley for the title right now, having bangers. Oh, Sheamus, no. him and Sheamus would have some fire. So even if you didn't want to throw yeah. Dominic too fast in there, him and Sheamus for the U.S. title? Oh, oh, fire. fire. That's, that, people, like, that's, that's Sheamus and Cesaro, too. Like, listen, and I remember NXT, like, Dr. Kovic and Keith Lee were getting fight forever chance. Two yes. big men. Yes. Fight forever. Wasted them. I said, like, that's where they could go with that. And it'd be so simple, right? Because I know, and it's, it, but, nice. but, but of course, you know. How about you, sir, Mr. Farrow? Oh man, I, I, to be honest with you, I think that would be the best solution. Like I could, I could have broken this down for this person to go here, this person to go here. Yeah, like if you, if it's smart, like bring all of these people back. Like yeah. with, with the exception of Lana. Yeah, Lana. Yeah, I feel Lana. Lana can go, and I I don't mean that in a mean way though. But so like I'm be real, I never enjoyed her wrestling. I felt like she couldn't wrestle, mm -hmm. and I felt like on this roster, like it would. In, in no disrespect, because I know she worked hard. I know she trained, everything like that. But you should already know how to wrestle if you're going to be on a wrestling show, in my opinion. Very much like, so. Very much this so. This isn't one of the things, oh, I'm, I'm going to figure it out. No, no. That's that's like me opening up for D.L. Hughley as I'm learning how to be a stand-up comedian. Like, what? Yeah. No. Yeah. And so, for me, it's just, I didn't enjoy it. And I, honestly, like, I... I did not like Naomi with Lana because I felt like they're there. I felt like now you guys have Naomi babysitting. Pretty much, pretty much. And it's just like, yo, you did it with Natalia. It didn't work. Yeah. Um, you yeah. did it with other folks. It didn't work. And the thing is, too, there's nothing wrong with that because you could you could have done like I know we've been we've been using her as a joke to see, but you could have had like an Eva Marie in that first time to where it's a few matches, but most of that stuff, she's an ambassador. Like, let her go do these yeah. spreads. Let her go be on these shows. Let her go do that type of stuff. That would have yes. been great for Lana. And, yeah. and still could if you were to bring her back. But that's the stuff I want to see her succeed in. I would love to see her do like a CW show, have an arc somewhere on a TV show. Because, you know, like she, she does have all of that potential to be able to do that. It's just like in the ring right now, I don't think that's where you, you need it to fit. And so I would love to see what she does outside now with her career. So, but for the rest no. of them, I agree. Yeah, yeah I'm, I'm, bro, straight up, like 100%, man. And it's just, oh, and again, I wish her all the best, man. I mm -hmm. wish her all the best, but I am so in like, and, and you can say, I like, I got big support black women energy. Yes, I do. I, I have big support black women energy. So when I see women like Ember Moon and Naomi and Bianca Belair, these are stars. And when I see things that could potentially derail that road to stardom, I don't like it. I don't when I saw her When I saw when 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 I saw them pairing Naomi with them and do TikToks, and all of a sudden like Lana was blowing and things like that. No, 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 no. 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 Why? Hey, I like hell. Hell, hell even like hell even turn Naomi heel and have her feud with Bianca, something like that. Call it fear the glow now. You know what I'm saying? Switch Man. it up. Fear, fear the, the glow. glow now. Yo, that'd I be know. hard. Fear the glow? Hey. Yes. Sir, you're on the sun with that. I'm telling you. Cause again, cause, because Naomi's such a fan favorite, you wouldn't see that coming. She's been healed before. 
but yeah. she's so over now like that. You would never see that coming. Nah, like, it's dark. no, actually, no, bro. It's it's perfect. Because if you think about it, hear me out. Hear me out. I'm gonna say it real fast. I know you finna trip out. Throw out Naya with the uh, bloodline. Throw in Naomi a SmackDown champ. And joins them Ooh. as Fear the Glow. Ooh. With Paul that Heyman is- behind her. Yes. And she's in the family, y'all. She married to him. Like, I'm like, bruh. She's that's married fire. To Jimmy. Yeah. Yeah. That's fire. And then that's that what get cool. Jimmy, though, to join. Because it's like, yo, like, you got to understand, bro. Like, you going against the family. Because imagine if she came to SmackDown and that's how he get him to join. It's like, yo, I'll make her life miserable. Or, 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 or even better, I'll give her the opportunities. Like, yo, you want Raw paired up in a tag team and now you get to face Bianca Belair for the title. So imagine, imagine what else that. I can do for you. All you got to oh. do is acknowledge me. Oh, man. <laughs> Damn. 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 They have her right there. Right there. Not being used, nothing. Just imagine him just in the ring with her. All you got to do is acknowledge me. And then he can, then Jay cut, then Jimmy come out like, yo, hey, bro. Don't bring my wife into this. Miss me with yes. that, bro. Don't yes. bring my, don't bring her in. Now she got to decide though. Title yeah. versus him. Come on. Oh my god. And all in a mind game to get him to join. Like yeah. yo, all you gotta do is acknowledge me. Acknowledge me. That's all. And all of this, this, all of this pain, all of this you feeling can go away. Y'all could be tag team champs. I just made your wife woman's champ. All you got to do is acknowledge me. Acknowledge me. Oh, oh, my God, bro. <laughs> it's just sitting there. It's just sitting there. Yeah, send us a check, for real, because we have just, we've met. Sir, Man. sir, that fear of the glow is what sparked all this. That's yeah, the fear flip. The glow. I tell you, fear, fear the glow. Bro. And imagine, imagine a heel Naomi, bro, like, because, and, and she has a lot to be angry about in this company. Yep. A lot to be angry about. A lot she can speak on. Because they don't give her the mic enough. Mm. And like, then a lot of that mic- stuff too, that glow stuff can change into the different colors. Like imagine like how you say that start off is like the uh strobe shit and it cut off, but then like yeah. all of them lights come, it's different glows. So now yeah. it's like a reddish glow. You just see it come up the ramp and it start filling up the Titan Tron, but then you see on the LED, it comes up to her and her stuff start cutting on. Yeah. And it's just a Ooh. whole new attire. You can build this up. It's so and Naomi is and Naomi is a great athlete. Bro, and she can a, and she can change it up. She ain't gotta do that butt butt yeah. bump no more. Like, I'm talking about she can no. get like Oscar vicious. Yes. Because she cause cause I because she's a good wrestler. Bro. And when you book him in there with another good wrestler like Bianca Belair, I guess you're gonna have a great yes. match. And that and to like, be honest with you, that's somebody respectable she can lose the title to off of veteranship and build the crap out of her from there. Like their rivalry could just like, yo, surpass everything. Cause real, cause real talk, like they could get into it. Bianca could be winning on the first couple of ones. And then that's what make the switch. It's just like, yo, Jimmy ain't getting it right. Naomi still keep getting beaten down. Paul Heyman lets him know this is that time. I have something that we can do to make this work. And then you just see kind of Naomi after like when like getting like a squash, but like she loses to Liv Morgan. And she in the back and stuff like that. You can kind of tell like the stuff getting to her a little bit. And then having to like yeah. now you got her in the picture, like seeing like her husband dealing with Roman. And then all of a sudden, here come Paul walk up and he's just like, let's take a walk. Yes. This is this this is stuff of great television. Bro. Because it pulls you in, it makes you compelled because you know parts of this thing are real. Mm-hmm. You know that this is really his wife. They're really a family. Yeah. And this is something like these are real issues that go on in the wrestling industry about racial bias, 
right now the Samoan family is on top right now. Mm. How often was that happening, y'all? Yeah, uh, with, with, right. With That's what it's like. It, it's dope. It's dope as hell. And then you know some 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 dope ass stuff too that that will be fire. If you really just want to expand, expand it. That's a little bit much. I know we got to get into our next fantasy booking, but peep yeah. this. Tamina super kicks Natalia and then makes Nia Jax her tag team partner. Now they the tag team champs. The Samoan powerhouse. Listen, and it's been it's been you've been one that for a minute. The Samoan powerhouse. Who would who would take the title off of them? Now that's how you build it. Nobody, you know, Nick, bro. Who? Nobody. Who? Who Nobody. coming for them? Who coming for them? And then the point, and then the point of like, yo, you could run them, dominating folks the entire time. And if you don't want to build a division, a tag team, make them give it up. Be like, yo, there's no one to beat. We're done. Yeah. And they just hand over the titles. It's like, yo, we no, we're not, we're not relinquishing for them to take him. We're retiring them. Yeah. Build us a division, and then we'll come back. Until then, oh. introduce the women's television title. They're like, imagine if they just, because only them could get away with it. As where they sit now, for them to go, we're retiring the women's tag team championships. That'd be cold, man. And then bring on women. Oh, my God. This sounds like, and WWE has the power to do this. They have the power to do this. You're paying a writing team to sit around and give you crap storylines every week. Listen, for half that price, call me and Will. I'm telling you, <laughs> yeah, fuck that. Not half that price. No, 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 no. We want the full. <laughs> that price and more, sir. You, you, hey, we just booked the next six months for you. you ain't lying, man. I'm joking, but you ain't lying, man. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna need a lot of money to, to fix this train wreck, sir. That fear the glow, bro. Like, fear the glow. I'm, I'm, I'm mad that I now know that that's not happening, bro. Like, that is the, <laughs> yo, I, I'm upset. I'm upset now. Bro, like that's perfect. Even the thing like she got on her head and stuff. Imagine if that yeah. is X's now as the eyes. Yeah. And they dripping. Yeah. A fear the glow shirt. Bro, I you rock that. Me? I rock yes. that. Fear the no. glow. I tell people like, because Naomi one type of people too, like you can argue she has not gotten her due respect as a veteran in the locker room in terms of on camera. Like the way we have like Charlotte and Becky and those guys are decorated stars. It's like they're up here. Then you have the Naomi's down here. The Naomi's, the Alexa Bliss, all that in that kind of subcategory. Mm -hmm. Like they get the title when these ladies are busy. You know what I'm saying? That's what right. it always kind of felt like. It, it so is. Like, and it's the yeah. same, it's, I think it's the same thing with coffee. Um, and I also think it's the same thing with these that you don't try to make. Because again, too, it's easy booking. Because like what you just said, it's, Everything that they do, it, you don't have to get too creative with it. Like, look at the two people you just named, Alexa Bliss. And who was the other one? Uh, 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 Naomi. Naomi, Naomi. Both of them, you had to take time to develop their character. So you had to kind of put things into it. Like, even for Alexis to get into the goddess role from what she came into, from what she was, like the whole little pixie skirt, then to switching the yeah. heel and being with Buddy and them, to actually walking on her own as the goddess and, and being as the top star in WrestleMania. But that was because this person wasn't there. But if we just being honest from a creative standpoint, you didn't have to do much. Charlotte is Ric Flair's daughter. And you yeah. ran with that. Becky Lynch is Irish, so you ran with that. But she also is with with Flair, so you didn't have to do much to change anything. Sasha Banks is Snoop Dogg's cousin, so bam, Banks, bank statement. Not that hard of a creative to do. So because of that, you get hella lazy, hella complacent, and these other top stars don't get they shine. Because what really pissed one one thing that really pissed me off, and that's what that's another reason too why I love that you keep saying go back to NXT because there's one person who I really wish gets to become a Grand Slam champion, and that's Alexa Bliss. The only one she ain't held was the NXT Women's Title. Otherwise, yeah. she'd be a Grand Slam champion, and she would have been the first one. Had they yeah. not had they not seen had they seen her potential and let her hold that title. That's the only yeah. belt she ain't got. Yeah, because I felt like when they called her up, 
she ne- yeah, she never held NXT women's title. Mm. She, she wasn't supposed to make it. One. That was the thing. She no. wasn't supposed to make it. Like I remember a tweet she put out and stuff like that. I remember it was it was something about the uh something happening. And then uh, she had mentioned kind of trip like about Triple H. Oh, well, you know, we're not their favorite. So that's why we don't get, get considered like that. Which is basically like what she was letting them know. Like, yo, like if you're not in that golden circle of them saying like, yo, you got potential, you really don't get that much. Yeah. But it's like, yo, that's the one I think she's like outside of Charlotte. She's yeah. probably the one that's had the most title reigns uh, yeah. outside of her in, 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 amongst all of them. Yeah, and 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 after and with, and with the bad booking too, like they could have built in like the next generation of their arch nemesis. Like, let's example, like with with Seth Rollins, Buddy Murphy could have been his next built in arch nemesis for the next generation. With Charlotte Flair, Dana Brooke could have been that when she was her assistant and all that. She just spat. They could have let that continue to build, and yeah. that could have been like her next built in arch rival for that for that next generation level. Because now they're nowhere. No way. Anna Brooks is in a tag team with uh with Mandy Rose. Another Seven. another one though, full of potential, could have easily put that belt around. Yeah. And you didn't do it. She got the in-ring ability. Yeah. And she has the look and legit has the muscles too. Like she Bro, she every time I see her in the ring, I'm like, oh, Stella, she would be she'd be working, her and Sonya. Like yeah. and also it's like, yo, fire and yeah. desire is dope. Man, and they really y'all put both, you cast both of them to the side. You got Mandy going out to mm-hmm. Otis. Sony's not even wrestling anymore. She's a manager. Like what? And I don't even know what manager you are. Like, are you the general of Raw? Are you, what, what are you, are you on the SMAP? What's happening? Yeah, like eventually, like, so when are you going to turn on Pierce? Because it's been months now. And I see little things here. So when is this happening? Because I feel like folks are supposed to happen, right? He takes yeah. over the show. That's, I think, right? But I just, 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 just just waiting. Hold on. What's what's next? Oh, we, 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 we got our uh, last thing we're going to do before we close this yeah. thing out. We're gonna kind of make this quick. Uh, like we said, WWE has been talking about talking with New Japan and stuff like that. And so, um, well, I just wanted I just wanted to get your opinion. Like we said in the last podcast, top three matches um, you would want to see from a, a New Japan star versus one of the WWE's uh, roster and stuff like that. I got it. Okay. First and foremost, I want Okada versus. Kurt Angle, not like I want Kurt Angle like 2003 Kurt Angle, 2000, okay. 2005 Kurt Angle, like that guy, the one that was like main event against Eddie Guerrero and Brock Lesnar, that guy. Okay. And also, I also want um I want the time splitters. I want time splitters. Hardy Boys. <laughs> I want that in their prime Hardy Boys. Oh, the extreme, the extreme yes. parties. Extreme, extreme versus the time splitters. Those guys, and I want in his prime, Kenny Omega. Prime, bang. Yes. Pew pew and good night. Pew pew pew. All and that. Good night. Night. Say all that. I want him against Seth Rollins. So Seth Rollins and curb stomp his face. Shit, I'm kidding. Into the mat. Everybody know that he's better than him because okay. I like Kenny Omega too. But watching him on on Dynamite is exposed Omega. He can't do week to week. No, he's good. He when, when you Not see him workhorse. once a month or once every three months on New Japan, it's great. He can't do week to week. No, you're a Lesnar. You're not a Rollins. Yeah. So that yeah. Show, and you showed us that you are. You're great to see, like you said, every couple months, week to week. Yeah. Can't do it. I watch. I watch Seth week to week. Yeah, every week. Every that time. Iron Man match he did, oh, bro. bro, his his yeah. Intercontinental Open Challenge run, amazing. <laughs> Once again, I thought people like, can't think of no highlights like that with Kenny. Um, nope. You versus the Rainmaker, great. Yeah, no, yeah, was well, great. You know, right? But, you versus you versus you versus Jericho. I felt it was good. I think because it was more so, I was shocked to see Jericho in New Japan. That that's that it worked. though. But that's it. It's, it's it like yo, it's cool to see this great athlete have this veteran keep up with him. That was yeah. it. But that didn't increase Kenny's career at all. Um, but those are dope matches. Me, I kept my kind of I kept my current with people that still there right now um for for this one just so we had an even uh an even one uh in, in the fantasy booking. So of first of course Okada is the same it has to be in here. I want Okada versus Brock. 
Ooh. I want the Rainmaker versus the Beast. And I just, yo, I want to see that so bad. I want to see Okada clothesline the shit out of Brock. Like, I cannot wait. I want to see Okada take an F5. I want to see it, bro. Like the the best in Japan to someone who was great and who kind of like honestly too, it's a redemption thing because Brock Brock was hella disrespectful in Japan. Like yep. Brock would did not conform to any traditions or anything like that. So to see nope. Okada, who they consider the face of Japan wrestling. And to be able to, like, you know, silence him if he was to pick up the win, it would be definitely a redemption from all of that. And then my second one is going to be uh, Hiroshi uh, uh, Tanahashi versus Randy yep. Orton. Oh, Orton Tanahashi. I like that. That I would like be that. fine. That would be fine like in that. a last man standing match. Man. Oh, because they don't hit Moose from out of nowhere, too. Man. Yes. That's going to be a good one. Yes. And then my last one, again, I, I, I didn't want to be obvious with the Kitty Omega. And like you said, if yeah. it was, it was going to be prime. So I want to keep it current. But I want to go with Coda versus Seth Rollins. Coda Obushi versus Seth Rollins? Yes. Because he's still killing it. He's he still is. like him as the uh, him and Kenny when they were sat like for him, I was like, yo, Coda is the dude. That's the dude right there. Yeah. Yeah. I would love to see him and Seth go at Ooh. Ooh, what kind of match i want a no holds barred match i want yep. i want a no holds barred just so they can go around the ring and use it but i still just want a traditional match yeah i want a I traditional like, yeah. match for them to just Me go too. at it because i want to see I'm exactly who is the best in the world but i don't want no via count out via disqualification to win because you know yeah. like so that way both of them say face no i want to see somebody get pinned yeah or winner or loser yes yeah. it has to be one and i want to see yeah. it so those are my three those are the three i would like to see happen i like it man bro this is a good episode dude it yeah. was a good episode good episode. hey man yeah. just keep keep getting better so y'all want to make sure y'all tune in to kayfabe with myself and chin do we will always have some of our kayfabe staff coming through to our kayfabe members uh come through to talk wrestling as well but you know this is that show to talk the real for us by us and no in-betweens we want to thank y'all for K-Fabe. tuning in yes indeed i've been your host will Farrow. it's your boy chin what it do, and we will catch you next time.